guys, we're back another week of Super Rugby action, yeah? And right in the middle of it this week, uh, uh, some big games coming up, so here we go. Let's look at last week. Uh, I uh, got three wrong, five out of eight. Not too shabby, I believe. Uh, the what first one was the Waratahs who beat the Reds. With a bit of the Reds, the, the refs help if you're a Reds fan, you'll believe that. To be honest, that one could have gone either way. I didn't really care. There's two teams that are really struggling, and um, I don't think too many South Africans are, are too worried about what happened in that, that game anyway. Other one I got wrong, big one for me, was the Stormers. I backed the Stormers. I really thought they could do it. And they came horribly apart, horribly apart. I know, I know. I give it, up, I give it up. I was wrong. I believed in them too much, and I'm really worried about them because so many mixed messages coming out of their camp, and really everything that had, they did well in the beginning of the season has sort of fallen apart all the, from the Lions game. As soon as that Lions game happened, they could be on a downward spiral. So uh, yeah, I was wrong about the Stormers. And the other one was the Sharks, who surprised us all in Buenos Aires. What a performance. Well done, Sharks. Really, really impressed with that. Well done, guys. Okay, let's move on to this week. Let's look at the Stormers anyway. And they're really not in a good space at the moment. Last week, a tough week against the Hurricanes. Hurricanes are up for this challenge. I hope it's a better performance for the Stormers. But to be honest, I'm hearing sort of mixed messages about... Yeah, coaches interfering with other coaches' roles and things like that. Not good things to hear about uh, a team like the Stormers. They've had a number of injuries as well. They'll be better, I reckon. But, you know, everyone talks about their defence. A lot of people blame their defence. All I can say is that if you're going to attack out of your own 22 half the time or play in the wrong areas of the field, play all your rugby in that area of the field and you make mistakes, Teams, are, good teams are going to punish you. So if you, <laughs> you can blame all your defence all you want, but if you give the ball to an opposition in 22 from a turnover, more times than likely, if they're a good team, they're going to punish you. So I think the Stormers, the attack is just as much as the defense is the problem at the moment. That's saying it, I give it to the Hurricanes by 25. Another team that's had a lot of problems on defense, the Cheetahs, really frustrating. Looked at them, I felt really sad for them. I thought Sergio Peterson scored a great try. Was disallowed last week against the Crusaders, but 43 missed tackles is 43 missed tackles. You can't be surprised that you almost conceded 50 points when you missed 43 tackles. You should be lucky it wasn't more. They play now the Highlanders, and the Highlanders, fresh with that 50 of the Stormers, are going to back themselves. They're going to try and run the Cheetahs ragged. So unless the Cheetahs find a defence, I'm sorry, that's not. Gonna, it's going to be a pretty similar result. Cheetahs should do well. Um, yeah, they start well, but then they seem to lose it and. Yeah, I, oh, let's, let's just be honest. We, uh, it's going to be hard not to call a Highlanders win by these 30 points this Friday. Come on, Cheetahs, prove me wrong, please. <music> Lions, of course, carrying on in, now in Melbourne uh, you know, to play, play, the, play the Rebels. The Rebels have to come back for, all the way from PE where the, the Kings uh, demolished them. They, there's big problems in the Rebels camp at the moment with that. They really, if the Kings look so good against them, the Lions are going to look a lot better. The Lions aren't playing that well, but against the Rebels side, they should beat them by 20, I reckon, uh, especially in Melbourne. It'll help the Rebels to be back at home, but the Lions, yeah, Australian rugby is in such a bad state at the moment, the Lions should win this one by 20. Okay, the other two South African games is for the start off with the one in Kings Park. Uh, yeah, Sharks against the Force after that performance last week should be taking the Sharks very seriously. I think uh, I think they should do well there, especially back at home. Uh, of course, there's always a chance of the nine-all draw. Force a team that frustrates other people. They they really frustrated the Lions with their way of, of playing, and I, I reckon they're probably going to try the same against the, the Sharks as such. But Sharks have enough firepower at home. I reckon the Sharks will take this by five to seven. And then the big one of the week and the big question, how do the Bulls stop the Crusaders? Well, no Sam Whitelock, no Kieran Reid. going to be a difficult run for the Bulls, and the Bulls have their own demons to overcome. If you consider the fact that the Crusaders haven't won at Loftus since 2008, it certainly isn't a place they like to play. Uh, um, you know, they don't do great over here. They haven't had that many wins at Loftus over the years, but this team is doing well. But without that leadership, how much is it going to affect them? The Bulls, of course... Uh, yeah, some some big calls there to be made. 
Uh, they, they're not playing at all the, on all their straps, but they're struggling along. Uh, a lot of pressure on the Bulls to win this one. It's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough one. I think the Bulls may just sneak this one, and I'm being optimistic here from a South African viewpoint. Everything points to the Crusaders, and I think they should be favorites, and rightly so, being unbeaten. But I think the Bulls might just sneak this one, but it's going to be close. To the other games that's left this weekend, the Chiefs facing the Reds. Reds will be a bit peeved they didn't win that game against the Waratahs last week. They're improving as such, but the Chiefs have also got some problems. They're, not, they're probably struggling. They're not getting their straps like the other New Zealand side. Still, I think they'll be good enough to beat the Reds. Uh, Chiefs by seven. Another cross Tasman clash to watch out for: uh, the Waratahs against the Blues. Now the Blues. Uh, worked their way around uh, uh, the, uh, who did they play? The Brumbies. <laughs> the Blues played the Brumbies last week, worked their way around, got the victory there. Not a spectacular victory, but uh, Australian teams aren't doing well against New Zealand. Waratahs would have done better. They'll have a bit of relief from that win. Uh, they needed a bit of help to get there, but uh, yeah, they got the win anyway. I still think that the Blues are probably a better side, uh, and the Blues will probably win this one, but only by five or six points. It won't be a great game to watch either. And then the late night game, the last one, the one nobody really uh, outside Argentina and Japan is probably going to watch it, unless you're a real rugby fanatic. The Yagi Warriors against the Sun Wolves. Sun Wolves have done better, but all the trading is going to catch up with them. The Yagi Warriors are going to win this one rather easily by 15. That's it for this week. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. A uh, great weekend coming up. A lot of big games. Uh, hoping the Bulls, the che Cheetahs, uh, Stormers, all those teams can do do something for us. The Sharks, I know, will probably do well, and Lions, I'm sure, are going to win anyway. So catch us next week. Press the subscribe button at the bottom there. You'll see a lot more videos like this, and thanks for watching.